Are you still afraid of placing trade? Are you still confused? Are you still afraid of blowing your account? Do you still find it difficult to place trade? Why? Because you don't want to lose again. You, you, you don't want to lose this very last money you have now. And you are careful enough. But the question is, after being careful, what next? You still lose your trade, right? Ah, after placing trade, you don't come out successfully. Everything you do will always bring you to zero. What is the way forward? My name is GDFS in this video. I'm going to open your eyes to see this very entry point that will help you and give you the opportunity to succeed. This video is going to be of a great help to you. So stay tuned and watch to the end of this video. You will never regret it. My name is GDFS. Please, I beg you to subscribe to our channel and I want you to stand by with us just subscribe just subscribe thank you just take a second and do that thank you now let's continue now a lot of people are finding it difficult to place trade and uh, when it comes to boom and crash it becomes so difficult for them why because imagine when you when you want to skype imagine when you are skyping and this thing is now and you've been expecting a for uh, you've been expecting a spike like this you enter a spike to get this thing to this thread and most times it will not drop like that sometimes you see it going up and uh, most times possibly in this place then you said okay since this thing have crossed here then let me enter for uh, um, skyping then as you enter for skyping it will not even finish up a candle the thing will not drop in this place why you targeted here then the question is what then should i do um, should I avoid the market? And the funny part of it is that even when the market will refuse to spike here, it will be counting more fast than the way it will draw back. So sometimes when the market will draw back, possibly it will surprise you that the losses you will have will be more massive than the profit you, you will have made had it been that you enter for spike. The, these are some of the things people are experiencing and what they are facing. And it makes them to be so perplexed and it makes them to see forests as a huge frustration that everybody cannot do this. And the question is, can't someone trade and be successful? You know, can someone trade and be successful? Can somebody say, I, my hard desire is just to make 0 0.30 0, 30 cents. Every time I play trade, if I come out this successfully, then he calculated it and I was just laughing. I know that the person is is watching this video. So, so when I when he calculated it, he said that he'll be making like ninety dollars or something like nature. I was like, what are you talking about? When some people are closing their day with forty three forty three dollars, imagine. And some will say, is it life account? You know, some will say, is it life account? You know, how do you know life account? You know? So, do you see Do you see what just happened? So, this is it. This is it. The thing just spiked. So, when you must have placed your trade in this very place, you know, uh, if it has broken out, so enter. Then after the, the first candle, the next candle, the thing will drop. So, this is some of the some of the challenges people are experiencing. So in this video, what I want to show you is how you can use this particular method to be Skyping. To be Skyping. And listen to me. There are rules to avoid. There are rules to avoid. There are rules. When I say rules, I mean rules. Now, what are those? What are some of those rules? Number one is this. When you see a market that is in this direction please avoid it check your one hour time frame when you see a market like this see that what i'm about to say now is some of the reasons why it looks as if gdfs talks too much because i cannot stand to watch people make some mistakes now listen it is true 100 percent true that when you pick out a single candle here, when you see this thing dropping, this particular candle dropping, 
when you see it dropping and you enter trade for spike and crash 300 that you would definitely make profit this is for professionals this is for those who know what they are doing in forest trading it's possible that when you pick out this thing when you enter for skyping and you notice this candle that is going to move up like what you are seeing here now so once you see this you will definitely once you enter it at this very bottom here you would find out that you will be skyping and you'll be making profit then all profit is profit all loss is loss but the question is is this the right thing to do the right thing to do is to place trade and make profit but is it the right time is it the right position that you singled out this particular candle and trade with it doesn't make you a professional trader because when we do videos like this and post online maybe we will we'll show you how we are able to do this thing go and try it on your own you will find out that the more you try the more you lose the more you try the more you lose we said but i have seen this guy he has been doing this thing why is it that my own is not working sometimes we we'll take it personal sometimes we we'll take it to be something and sometimes we we'll judge ourselves wrongly and feel so so bad about ourselves because we cannot do what others are doing and so see sometimes stop we'll take it to the next step that is why that is one reason i'm doing this video now when you see a market like this please stay off stay off then what is that that i want to show you that you need to do good i'm going to remove every other indicators here and show you just one what is that this is 25 moving average 25 moving average look at what i'm what look just look at what i'm and what i'm going to do here this is 25 moving average this is 25 moving average i reduce this to to be 21 now the rest i remove it let me show you something this is 21 moving average look at it 21 and this thing is in crash 300 I will show you the same thing on crash 1000 show you the same thing on boom 1000 show you the same thing on boom 500 crash 500 and whatever it may be let me show you look at it this is what you should be looking at for please listen this is what you should be looking at for there is something you need to find out here failure to do this you will make series of mistakes and what you are seeing is the code to every of the short let me not go that way shall. now watch it when you see that your market in crash one crash um, in moving average 21 once you see that the market have crossed over this is 21 now first thing first is that there's going to be if it is on skyping there's going to be a resting candle on top of that particular moving average please use this particular method you will definitely thank the only thing i request for you is just two things number one is subscribe to my channel then number two if you are if you are uh, uh, my subscriber already you are a returning subscriber the what i request from you is make sure that you would let people know that what we are doing is working how do you do that don't keep it to yourself don't keep it to yourself don't attribute what you benefited from us to another person just write on the comment section or go to the telegram group and let people know that we are learning something and what you are watching from our channel is benefiting to you and why must you do that you are doing it to encourage others believe me a lot of people have given up on forest trading 
a lot of people have given up some people have watched so many videos that they become confused and can never try to do forest again because some people that are, are some of the people that have mentored it makes me to know of a truth that we are not doing our best in the youtube believe me a lot of people are doing well but what after meeting a lot of people and mentoring them i can tell you that we are not doing well what we what we post is good but it's not doing the job as it's supposed to why because how can someone who have watched youtube videos for three years for three good years four years five years how can he how can they come up to me and tell me that they after watching a, a videos for four years five years you are still losing thread as if so that means imagine when you send someone to uh, to school for five years and the person return empty uh, i mean as empty as nothing so it's very very bad so that is why one of the reasons i decided to take some of our videos to the extreme to the advanced level where we can no longer talk about crossing and placing trade we'll talk about some of the underground and background reasons why people are losing it so why even when we do that people criticize us because people want to see exactly what they have been saying that have not been benefiting as it's supposed to now follow this simple method and you will definitely make profit now look at this i'm going to circle this thing i'm going to circle this thing here is your entry point watch out what i just draw now let me explain it a little so that you will grab it when you cross when you put your moving average 21 on your main chart it's okay keep it there then and you are looking forward to catch a spike remember that the reverse of a spike is skyping so if you look for an opportunity any way you have been using to do your skyping successfully do the same thing you'll be catching spikes the same way and i've said this thing even on, on a mentorship we had a few days ago that whatever you are doing if you learn how to catch a spike it will help you to be safe and but not the easiest do you know that not the easiest everything about forest is all about risk you risk your capital to make profit you risk your capital to lose and to come back next time oh no so look at this candle this particular candle is right in this place then first thing wait for a candle to cross the line when that candle crosses the line then the signal the signal candle is that bearish candle that will cross over this one cross over as a bearish but closed as a bullish is a second signal it cross over as a bearish and close as a bullish is a is a second is a sign that something is about to happen below 21 moving average <clears throat> now listen now once that happened the next candle that crosses above this is a welcome development which is this one which is this very candle you are seeing but it didn't end there with this the market is still in trouble how because you may still lose your trade okay let's look forward to see what is going to happen next now since this thing happened like this allow the candle to close below that market allow the candle to close here as a bullish not bearish bullish what i mean is that no matter what happened in that place let a candle close as a bullish candle below i mean below moving average 21 once that happened the next candle that will come up must be bullish must be bullish once that happened the next candle will open up and start going as a bullish candle because the candle closed the candle that closed is a bullish 
So once that started going up, please get ready. You're about to enter. Don't enter immediately because the market can still reverse and cross the 21 moving average and moved up. Then when should you place trade? Immediately you have seen the first small spike. The first small spike will bring the market to the line where it was before at this place is going to keep it at this point then once you have seen that please use the lowest loss size and place your trade use the lowest loss size and place your trade use the lowest loss size and place your trade look at what you have here let me show you what um, what what i'm talking about so that you do not look as if we'll talk 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 without any solution now all right so once you have seen that spike you're going to rest on the horizontal line you know it's going to rest on the horizontal level like this then once that happened place your trade with the lowest loss size and once you have done that wait for some time even if it takes you like 10 minutes relax it's going to drop because the signal is pure once that happened if the spot for spike drop or when you are doing your skyping and the skyping the market cross that line then and you are sure that you have gotten like you know the size of the money that you know that is okay then place third position second position fourth position fifth position as many as you know your account can carry that even if the market reverses it will not take you out of the trade you know then that is what you would do by so doing at this point you can place a trade and hold for a long time at least a one hour journey it will be okay for you because what will reverse this market in this spot what will reverse this market in this very port will take like 15 minutes then the remaining the remaining 45 minutes is for you to trade then when that candle closes the next candle will try to open and try to make a move i'm going to show you these things squarely in order symbol so once this happened you can still hold your trade for you to pay. make sure that none of them will ever near the 21 moving average in your one hour please remember that this analysis must be done in one hour time frame must be done in one hour time frame must be done in one hour time frame then the question must be what if i don't have the capital what i draw here is the yellow distance follow it and see how you'll be entering trade in your lower time frame once you confirm this in your higher time frame so let's move down a little bit let's move down a little bit for you to see what we are saying did you see it what you are seeing in that place look at the drama look at the drama so the spike that took place at this point will now give you a signal that something is about to happen remember what i told you no matter what you are seeing here these things you are seeing is just a welcome development. This thing you are seeing can cross here and nothing will happen. So don't enter based on the signals or the strategies you have or the candlestick move on 30 minutes. Do this only on your one hour time frame. Do this method only on your one hour time frame because the one hour time frame is the center of between the higher time frame and the lower time frame. So it, it, it helps you since you are using smartphone but for some that are using your um, laptop or you are using a gadget at all, you are free to do this using your four hours time frame, two hours, three hours time frame. So let's move down a little bit to 15 minutes and see how these predictions can be either right or wrong. Did you see it? Did you see? Did you see? Please follow it squarely and see how this thing works. It works like magic. Some say, please, you talk too much. Please, how do I bring up those things in a nutshell please help me someone should advise me let me learn it okay now let's go we are five minutes now we are on five minutes good we are on five minutes did you see what is going on here did you see how it works so for some of you this is that small candle that i told you this is that small candle that will need to drop first that thing will bring you to this line there is a support there is a support zone in that line so that line that thing will bring you in that place the spike must end in the same position so if you are doing a skyping the skyping the market will move and at that point it's going to spike 
then once it spike and start to retrace it you will no longer be afraid of the support or resistance zone because it's going to cross it all right so let's move down a little bit this is five minutes and at this point this is what you will be taking and some of you that don't know how to wait for a continuous spike you don't know how try this very method come on try this strategy try this strategy try this strategy is going to work for you all right all right finally this is one minute time frame one minute time frame this is how you can do something and you step back to one minute and the journey will be sweet look at it you know look at it as simple as that once you follow it squarely and let me change the color so that you will see it while on the yellow once you follow it squarely look at this candle once you follow it and the first spike happened the second one which is this one occurred please enter with the lowest loss size what should you wait for why should you use the lowest loss size so that if the first spike occur like this then you can now take the journey once this one cross like this which means you have this as a profit then at this since this is crash 300 with this spike you have 11 dollars already then you now place your trade you now place your trade you now add more position like two more position depending on your account size if for any reason you are trading on crash 300 and you receive this and you can't believe me i'm a forest trader i don't do practicals i don't talk alone i trade i do practicals i don't talk theories alone i do practicals so with this with this with this in your account believe me there is no how the lowest loss size of crash 300 there is no how you will not have 180 dollars with this anybody can put me wrong there is no how it's not possible because just this one alone will give you like 14 dollars 15 dollars so when more than that with this from here to this place you must have at least 180 170 if i'm not lying so imagine what this strategy can do in your account but remember that whatever you are doing in forest trading patient and good mindset is always the at the lead remember that if what i said now is so confusing that you cannot know you cannot even you don't understand what we are doing please i beg you don't waste your energy on forest trading look for a mentor a mentor that will bring you up to speed to help you to understand every single thing that you are saying then at this point you will no longer be wasting your time trading a market that have drawn near to 21 moving average that may take over the market as a buy or come down again and sell look for this opportunity and you will never regret if it takes you two days to find this you will re you will never in your entire life regret ever placing trade using this particular method this is what i want to tell you and it's going to help you so let's quickly run down to every other one of them and see how we can find this individual is already lengthy the video is already lengthy okay I will show you the same thing. Look at it. Look at this one here. Look at it. Follow this thing and you will get this. Follow it. As simple as that. Follow it. Just look out for it and you'll find this. You will make profit. So because of our time, I don't want to... Ah, Jesus. The video is too long already. So please try this thing on your demo and see how it's going to be effective and you would definitely make profit using this it works on boom it works on crash it works on volatility and everything you can also apply your macd to supplement it to help you find clarities in it and it's going to work for you what i'm showing you is what i do now i will make a next video to show you how you can do this thing practically to cast spike on m to do your skyping only this one will help you to catch a spike 
freely, freely, freely. When I mean freely, I mean freely. It works like magic and everybody can do this. So if you're looking for mentor that will help you to do what I do, you know, you talk the way I talk, you do what I do, you make profits, you, I mean, you make money, cool cash, join my mentorship group, join my mentorship this day. Remember that it's not free. You will pay. Why must you pay? Free business are always taken for granted. I have given you free stuff on YouTube that has helped many. You can manage it. You can use it to grow your account, do this. But when you want to become a pure forest trader that want to know what he's doing and use forest as business, there is a need for you to find someone that will teach you. Stop gazing. Stop gazing work. Stop jumping to the market, closing, losing your trade. No, 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 no. Come inside. Someone will brush you and help you. That is one of the things that have helped so many people you see that are doing well in forest trading today. They did not depend only on YouTube videos that they watch the strategies they grab from YouTube. They watch this, this strategy and they know basic things and they enter and get the foundations. And today, some of them are doing well. Especially in my own group, I know of some people who have eradicated poverty from their circle. I know, I know, I know. Not everyone in my group are doing well. That is one thing you should know. Not everyone there is doing well. Some of them have this low intelligence quotient. And why some of them are working class, they don't really have enough time for themselves. So it is difficult for them to grab it. And some always ask me, what is your time duration? And what that is a form I will always send to you for you to fill and return it back to us. That will help us to assess your durability and your days of engagement. And from there, we'll follow you up. We don't easily send people out you know we don't easily send people away because everybody don't have the same level of knowledge some takes time to learn why some always learn immediately and if what you are battling for is money maybe someone charge you three hundred five thousand us dollars and for that reason you think everyone is saying no it may surprise you that will help you because our mandate is to help humanity and save them from dying poverty dying in poverty all right GDFS, we really love you. Contact us.